So hello guys, um, today I'm going to show you uh, how to fix some problems you might come along with uh, the gimbal control setup. As you can see, I've already connected everything up for you. So here is uh, the remote control. I can press the buttons and you will see the gimbal moving here. And oh, we even got a GPS lock now, <laughs> even if I'm inside here. Currently I'm connected to the battery itself. Also you can see I connected or I soldered XT60 uh, connectors to the battery as well as to the quad to ease up the, the whole thing uh, on having additional batteries. And I also got a little battery, if you might saw on my last video, uh, which I use mainly to keep balance, uh, which will be placed at the end, if you need to put this in here. Okay, now we lost GPS, of course. We can use this just, yeah, to take this little battery over here, like this. Put it on the back with some little dual lock tape from 3M and just uh, use this to power the gimbal as well. So I now connected the little battery as well as you can see. And the difference is now that we can still control the gimbal, but this is only possible with an additional ground connection for the signal wire as well. So we need an additional ground as the gimbal and the Arduino is now powered through the little battery and has no ground interconnection with the quad. Um, you can simply use um, a cable for that and I will show you some pictures. Okay, what I did now is I simply connected the USB to the Arduino and uh, let's get started uh, with the screen capture now and show you guys how to install actually the driver and setting up the Arduino. Um, first of all, uh, how to set up the Arduino. So depending on which Arduino you got, you might having problems with getting it actually working and might not having the cor correct driver installed. This usually happens if you uh, did buy an Arduino clone. Uh, in that case, you will have a CH340 uh, USB driver uh, required for that chip. And um, you can download that there. Here is a little link on extractables. I will add it to the description as well, which helped me. Um, where you can download actual the serial USB driver you need. You can just, just click on the link here. And uh, if you do not like uh, running executables, that's fine. You can also use just a zip file like I do. Just download the whole thing here and just place it to your downloads. And you can extract it here. You also do not need to run um, the setup file here as well. You basically just need the driver, so you just copy that path here. In case you do not have the, um, the driver already installed, you just choose driver install. You're gonna tell them where it's located, just paste the whole thing and let it look. In my case it's already installed. So this will most likely um, be an issue you might encounter with starting the whole process up. So okay, next step. Uh, we now want to do some programming with the Arduino. We can now visit uh, the pastebin with the code. 
So you have two possibilities. Like I said, you can either just uh, do a little bit of um, copy and paste of the whole thing, um, or you just click on download, which is also fine, and click on save. But when saving, don't save it as a .c file, just save it as a .ino file. This will allow you to simply go to your downloads and double click to open up the Arduino IDE. Oops, it will bring a message up where it needs to be a sketch folder. Just click on OK, it will create it for you. So um, now we can just go to Tools and select the correct COM port here. Uh, which we uh, did install before. Also make sure you selected the correct board like the Arduino Nano and you can also check if the board is connected. Uh, it might say unknown board which usually happens if you have a copy but it uh, also works fine. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you might want to do is of course load the whole code up to the Arduino. Just click on Upload here. It will write the whole code to the Arduino. It will just take a couple of seconds. And we are done. So, and um, I already connected the um, remote control and uh, everything is uh, connected properly. So, and uh, I will now go to the serial monitor which will tell you what I am currently in mode 1 fixed angles there are some uh, yeah, prints here like on the um, on the serial communication here um, for example if I'm starting the whole thing up it will tell you in which mode you are and later it will also tell you what signal comes in if um, you do not have the uh, signal connected properly and there is no signal for the other unit to, to process, it will actually stay here. And so it will also not react if you just put in a switch, uh, put a jumper on or not. It, it will just don't get that. So um, in my case, I have everything uh, connected properly. And if I'm now starting to press the buttons, you can see um, which key is pressed and the signal length. The signal length is was just a little bit debugging for me, so you do not need to know that. But as you can see, we are already doing something and of course the gimbal is moving. If you do not get that, you most likely have something um, wired wrong, but the serial port monitor will help you to figure out if you're actually receiving something. So we are back um, with the gimbal now. I um, just wanted to show you what you actually need to connect here. I hope I can get it a bit on the video. So you can see um, on the on the pitch channel, uh, it will be um, the upper upper pin will be the yellow cable in my case, which will be the servo signal. Um, then there will be the red cable, which will be the plus 5 volt for the Arduino, as well as the black cable, which will be the ground for the Arduino. And in my case, the gray cable is connected to the ground of the roll channel, which is not used in that case, but I am connecting these, this gray cable. So on the other side, you can see the white cable is coming from port or the fourth pin which is actually the output and um, the little uh, yeah metal what you can see here is the gray cable connected to the um, black cable for the additional ground to make sure that even we have an additional uh, battery for the gimbal we still have uh, ground for the single uh, for the signal to actually be able to process the, the input signal. So at the front uh, we can see now what is being connected. I just removed uh, the little FPV camera to let you guys better see what actually is connected. So the yellow cable is connected to the digital 6 and uh, on the um, on the left hand side you will see uh, digital 7 and 8 which uh, can be placed with a jumper on if you want to use the mode 2. 
and very important on the white cable has to be connected to the digital too. So when everything, if everything is connected properly, you can just go and move the gimbal, of course, like this. <laughs> 